Okay, guys, I'm here with Bucky from DuPont Registry. Dan. Bucky, hey, brother. Uh, doing, doing well. He is going to take us on a tour. As I said, we are at the DuPont Registry booth. They've got a lot of cars here, we do. a lot of presentation. I'm going to turn the time over to Bucky. He's going to take us for a tour, and we're going to check out some very cool cars. Cool. All right, well, the first thing we have here is the Lamborghini Performante, and this comes from the folks at Lamborghini Las Vegas. And they have been uh, helping us out at shows and have been advertisers in the magazine for probably 15 years. Tom Brazil is our good guy over there. Let's take your guys in here. Was this a first look? So, uh, oh, do we not have the key? Okay, we're going to work on the key. But you can do a quick walk around here. The Performante is the latest car. It is absolutely a tremendous vehicle. Now, what are you calling it? It's called a Perfamonte. Wow, they keep coming up with names that none of us it's Italian. can uh, pronounce. It's Italian. So there. Perfamonte. Perfamonte. It's got this crazy wing on the back. It's over 700 horsepower. Which, this doesn't even look like carbon fiber unless it's some new version of a carbon fiber. Because typically they'll make this in a carbon fiber. Right, well, and what when I first walked up to it, I thought it was dirt on there. And then I got a closer <laughs> look at it and realized it wasn't. Let's take a look inside here. And, you know, around Barrett Jackson, you got to make sure that you have your badge tucked in because you don't want to hit so anybody. So this does not have the scissor doors on it, I noticed. It does like not have the, the scissor doors. Way. Wow, look at the details of this upholstery. This is absolutely insane. Alcantara all throughout. And if you take a look at that center console, I mean, it's it's almost like something out of Star Trek. Seriously. This is like the Batmobile. It's and really look up at the sweet. ceiling because you got the Alcantara everywhere, uh, the seating, all these accents, the whole dashboard. Um, and for all those that don't know what Alcantara is, it's a name brand of a synthetic suede-like material, which I am a huge fan of. It's actually pretty easy as far as maintenance goes, so I'm a huge fan of that. And this car is is an absolute last drive. Now I've not driven the Performante, but I've driven the uh, the Aventador, and I was tasked with um, driving the Aventador out of uh, a very confined space at the Motor Trend Auto Show in Tampa, Florida. My owner came up to me and said, "I want you to drive the Aventador home." And I have to tell you that the doorway oh, wow. that the car fitted because it's one of the widest cars on the market, and I was able to navigate. And what's, what's different about these cars, it's not like a normal car when you put it in drive where if you take your foot off the brake, that those cars will move forward. These cars are, are basically stuck in gear until you hit the gas, so yes. they almost lurch. Yes. And so for me to be able to, to navigate that, I felt like David Blaine. I mean, it was, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> but okay, let's look over here at the, uh, this is the Lamborghini Aventador. You'll see it's kind of similar on the inside. Um, this is the, uh, the Mura edition. This is a very, very special edition of the Lamborghini. Go take a close up. Look now at this that. This has the uh, actual leather. Leather in interior, it, yes. and the, the contrast with the white paint is just—it's awesome. And, yes. I mean, most people will never get a chance to see these live and in person. No, they will not. And um, now, how about you? See, you're from Clearwater, right? We are. Yes, that's so where our home base is. So, how far away would you have to go? unless it's in your home city, that you're going to see a car like this? Well, for us, we get to see them once a month at our Cars and Coffee, and we've, you know, okay. being that we're, yes. we're so close to Tampa, we've got exotic car dealers, okay. so we've got Ferrari, Lamborghini, there isn't a there isn't an exotic market we don't have unless you're talking halo cars like a Koenigsegg or right. Bugatti, because they have very limited points. But with my travel schedule, I'm very fortunate. I was in Pebble Beach just a few months ago, and I have a, a personal friend that I've met through the company who just came back from Sweden, specking out his Koenigsegg Regera, which is uh, a million dollar car. Yeah. And the following day um, that I had seen him in Pebble Beach, he was going to meet with the folks at Bugatti to spec out his Chiron. So he is, and in fact, he just took delivery of his Performante. He's a big car guy, super, super nice guy. One of his cars was actually on the cover of our our magazine, I believe it was November of 2015. It was a Porsche 918 
only ones in North America painted in the Gulf livery. So it's a really unique and very special car. Let's take a look at this. This, this over here is really awesome. This is from U.S. Specialty Vehicles, and it's the Rhino GX. And this is, uh, this is about as big a grocery getter as you could possibly want. <laughs> it's uh, not easy to parallel park, but I can Well, with this, you. you're pretty much just going to pick wherever you want to park and just, and just drive, drive over, over it. Yeah. That's exactly right. I don't know. It's open, it's not open. What is the platform that this is built on, do you know? Um, something like very big. Right it's basically something like, like, a, it's like a Hummer. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Hummer. Um, so I'm going to try to get the doors open on here. And um, let me see if I can. Uh, yeah. Let if I can so let's, let's walk around. We can check this out. So, and so, I believe I started seeing these, as I was saying, a couple years ago out on the strip. It was parked at one of the valets. Right. I came out and it's just like, WTF, what is this thing? Yeah, this thing is massive. I mean, this something like this is very popular with, uh, with ball players because, as we were talking about a little bit earlier, what happens is when you're, when you're large, whether it's you know you're, you're broad because you're an offensive Which I'm lineman, not. <laughs> yeah, me either. If, if if you're an offensive lineman or you're you know you're yeah, Shaquille O'Neal, yeah, you need you need Some you need space. a ride that is going to uh, um, that's going to be able to accommodate your size and frame. Right. And this is one of those. So these are very popular with athletes. And um, it's uh, like I say, it's one of those things. Okay, so Super Duty. I'm gonna. It's this on the looks like yeah, four. It's, it's an F350. Okay. Actually. Okay. Because yep. I'm starting to recognize the interior, and this is smacking Ford to me. So okay, that makes sense. So uh, Ford. It's on the F350, F350 chassis. F350 now that chassis. I think about it. Okay, that makes let's sense. Let's take a look at the back. And see, these things are so huge. You can customize these. Um, this is fit for a king. It really is. I mean, a lot of these guys will wow. put a major entertainment system in here. They'll put an Xbox. Back there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Now we'd have to get Jane a step ladder to get up there. It's, uh, Holy it's hole a in a donut, Batman! This is big. Yes, that's what she said. Yes, yes, this is good. Yeah, Keep this it is clean, hey, this Darren. is my Facebook, man. I can't. Family channel. Uh, of course I have. Family channel, Darren. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I get in trouble a lot. So you can look at these wheels. Yeah. Um, they're Once just. Again, I'm gonna see what size these tires are. Um. All right. I think they're 40s. Um, uh, what do we got? Okay, 38s. 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 38, 38, 38, which 40. is substantial. What's a couple inches amongst friends? Yeah, what's a couple inches? So, so <laughs> this. Sweet. And I can Never go mind. a lot of directions with that and I, comment right there. I will tell you that this particular vehicle, because a lot of times when you get in these vehicles, they're just a terrible ride. Yes. This thing is a great ride oh, because really? it's based on the Ford chassis. Yeah. So. A lot of times you'll get in some of these vehicles and it's literally, you're fighting to drive them. You can, I mean, you know, Jaina could hop in this thing. I mean, you can, you don't have to be intimidated by driving this because yeah. it is really a well manageable vehicle. Aside from vehicle. the uh, uh, immense yeah. girth yeah. <laughs> and height, aside from that, yes. Yeah, you probably like would want to yeah. double park this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want to get a note on your door. All right, I, let me I mean, it's just intimidating just. I mean, I couldn't imagine pulling into a parking lot anywhere. I mean, it's just so ominous Big. and intimidating. It is. It's a lot. It's very in nature. Let's take a look at these these next okay. guys. Uh, these next guys are good clients of mine. It's uh, the Airstream. Is it the Airstream Splitter? Okay, I actually work on a lot of these. Okay. Uh, and that's one of my niches in the auto detailing world is RVs. And because these have become so so popular in the past couple years, right? So we actually do a lot of these. Airstream is at the top echelon as far as the conversions out. Right. Absolutely. Now this is the interstate here. Come on in, Jada. Let's take a look inside here. I want you to be able to show everybody um, how this particular one is outfitted. This yeah, is outfitted this is... for some road travel. Now they they can they can outfit these any way that you want, but this is I mean obviously a granite um, a countertop. It's got fridge. Now just to clarify, sorry to cut you yeah. off, Bucky. Airstream, mm -hmm. most people are going to associate with a jet. 
Well, n no. Well, that's Gulfstream. Okay, that's so Gulfstream. Air, that's Airstream, my bad. Airstream is the RV on the ground. It's the silver. What? what oh yes, what, the, the old I Love Lucy type of what silver. We were, I refer to it as the Jiffy Pop camper <laughs> oh. because they look. Perfect. For those of you that don't know what Jiffy Pop is, that's yes. when we used to cook popcorn. I've on not the stove. heard that connection, but, but that's good. But they're the silver trailers that are like the bubble trailers, and they're iconic. They, yes. They, they are they are synonymous with perfection. It, it is next to impossible. There is a cult following with Airstream. You cannot find pre-owned trailers. When somebody trades one in to upgrade to another model, yeah. they they literally have a waiting list. Our owner is struggling to get one for um, a place that we have down in the Keys for some extra room, and it's they're next to impossible to get. So they yeah. hold their value. They're amazing. You can spend well over a hundred thousand dollars on an yes. Airstream trailer. Now this is great because. You, you've got the flexibility of being able to drive everywhere in it, and you've got the creature comforts of the bathroom, you've got the, the, the dishwasher. I mean, it list literally has everything that you want. Yeah. Um, and, and it sleeps, I think you can sleep, you know, uh, four, you know, two comfortably. You can, you can get some others in here, but you can spec these out. And these guys are based in Jackson, Ohio. And, and, and they are producing these things as fast as they can get them now. I was hoping that we would see the Tommy Bahama edition. Yeah. They collaborated with Tommy Bahama last year and they came out with 78 limited edition Tommy Bahama models. And they're yeah. awesome. They come with a special cooler. And you know, a lot of times you'll find with collaborations where people will just license their name, not in Tommy Bahama's case. When I, to I spoke to my folks at Airstream, yeah. Tommy Bahama was very engaged in the design process. Yeah. They wanted to make sure that if they put their name on it, that they felt comfortable. And you know, Tommy Bahama's an iconic brand as well. Hasn't yes. been around as long as, as Airstream, but they wanted to make sure that when they did it, they did it right. And right. Airstream really appreciated that. So they've done a wonderful job with their Tommy Bahama edition, and, and nice. if you visit us in Scottsdale, you'll probably see that. So, yeah, let's uh, let's move on because we've got you know three or four other things that I'd love love to show your folks. Yeah, I, I do a lot of Airstream trailers, mm -hmm. but that's what's cool about this, as you mentioned, is it's actually attached to the engine, so you can right. take the the quality of the Airstream. And now you can actually drive it versus towing it behind your. That's right, and this rig. is one of the coolest features in the world. I love this. Oh wow! Nothing like have a screen door on your on your minivan. Yeah. Oh, did I say minivan? I didn't mean that. Yeah. No, but how oh, sweet is that? Yeah. So I mean, you can literally. And it's got the awning, as you can see here. I mean, if you're, you know, you can park next to the beach, and you can just shut that. You can turn your captain's chairs, bottle of wine. I mean, you can really, you can really dig it. Yeah, I wouldn't drink and drive sweat. or anything like that. But yeah, these are awesome. All right, let's take a look. These are two of my favorite vehicles that we have here. This is an Land Rover Defender 110. This is produced by a company um, out of Southern California. It's called Fusion Luxury Motors or Fusion Motor Company. And not only do they manufacture these Defender 110s, but the next car that you'll see is the Don in 60 Seconds Eleanor. So oh, which is wow. an iconic car. It's a 68 Mustang, and, and, and that car is absolutely... So they're pretty diverse in what they will uh, they are. customize. And, and what, I, what, what is so amazing about this company is that the owner of this company, his name is Yoel, has invested millions of dollars to manufacture these cars right here in the United States. He bought all of the autoclave uh, 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 equipment to be able to manufacture their own carbon fiber. He hired the top master technicians uh, uh, and engineers around the country to be able to, to craft these things. And I mean, you're talking, this particular vehicle right here is $269,000. Wow. But it is- Hey babe, why don't you made. come over here and you can, yeah. Uh, careful. Yeah. You can take a look at uh, the inside. Wow. Um, and this is really, I, I wish I knew the color. Um, I was going to say, this looks like a custom color because I have not seen this on the road at all. Am I correct? I, I believe it is a custom color. Um, it's kind of old school. We were commenting on it and the, you know, the fit and finish of the vehicles that they produce yeah. are I mean, they are, they're striking. And yes. a lot of times... My eye is is panning over the interior, and I'm already picking up on the subtle details, and that's where my eye is going to go to the fit and finish, as we call it in my own industry, mm -hmm. you know, which literally is, is... It's the little the tolerances, like, 
is it sloppy or is it really precise precision right is your is your is your, is your lock like offset yes. i mean there's yes. so many things i mean all the, the little nuances and subtleties because yeah. it really is you know pun intended right. intentionally in that it is always about the details right. i don't care what we're talking about whether it's a hotel i'm staying yep. at to a car in this moment sure to your magazine yep. You know the binding of it, mm -hmm. the glossiness, mm -hmm. the thickness, How it's cut. Right. everything. It's yes. always about the details, right. and a lot of people just do not get that. Well, these guys leave no stone unturned. In this particular, these, and the other thing is, you, this is completely bespoke. You can do anything. Uh, you, you have a blank canvas if Sorry. you want to get a, you know, safari rack. If you want to get uh, surfboard racks or bike racks, I mean, they can do anything. You tell them what you want done, and they can make it happen. They can do automatic side steps. They can do it all. But this, this here, uh, you, you got to take a look at this vehicle. This wow. is, this is absolutely awesome. If you see this car, you don't think, you know, James Dean. Uh, yes, uh, right. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, what Bullard. was it? Bullet. Yeah, uh, Bullet. Yeah. Uh, 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 what's McQueen? The, uh, McQueen. Steve yes. McQueen. Yeah. This car is, and, and if you look again, it's all about thin finish. Hey babe, come, come around here. And um, what's neat about this car? Yeah, this is man. Talk about it's custom. What you, what you've got here is 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 a classic with all of the modern creature comforts. You're gonna have Bluetooth. Wow. Check this out. You, they wanted to recreate the look of the roll down, but it's electric. Oh wow! It's so electric. Just a flip of yep. forward. Just and a flip, flip back forward and, and a flip back, and yeah. it puts it up. You see the carbon fiber. They've got the original air conditioning mounts, but it's got, of course, and and for those of you, you've seen this a million times on Facebook. I don't know, Jana, if you can get down here by my foot. Do you see that? It's always is there a dead pedal. If you know what one of those is, oh, I you're do. Old. <laughs> yeah, that's the okay. Old. I just that old. Right. <laughs> it's the, that's old. the emergency brake yeah. release. Actually, no, that's the high beam light. Oh, yeah. Wow. See, you're not now that old, you Darren. Really, now you really <laughs> pulled me back in the way back machine. You're not that's that old. Right. So, and this thing, if you if you saw it, you can look over here. This is the ignition switch. Oh it's my got, gosh, that that's right. The the high beam. The high beams. I, for, I totally forgot. That's like when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, total. And total we'd, we'd get in mom and dad's car without right. them knowing it. Right. We'd sit there, turn on the lights, and play with that switch. Right, exactly. But this thing has nitrous. I don't know if you got a shot. Of I the saw the uh, yeah. bottle back there. And uh, if you take a we look. We got the uh, nitrous bottle back here. NOS. Yeah, however, whatever. Depends on what demographic I, I'm speaking to. Whether we want to call it NOS, nitrous. So that's the... Uh, that's the uh, what? What's Tesla calling their their uh, scream moment? You know, like holy uh, ludicrous. Shit. Yeah, ludicrous. The ludicrous. Moment. Yeah. This would be the equivalent of that. You hit the button on the nitrous, and uh, and you're gone. It's like speed racer. Yes. It's crazy. So let's take a look at the engine because this thing is. Uh, and man, the, the paint and body on this is so absolutely perfectly impressive. straight. I mean, look at the the billet. Yeah, Look at the, the billet hinges. work on this, the hinges. I mean, again, this car you're talking like, and, not, and, and, and carbon and a fiber, pair, babe. Carbon fiber hood. That you're looking is north impressive. of two hundred thousand, and see, this is a licensed. Get a look at that. This is a licensed, gone in sixty seconds, Eleanor. Wow. So this isn't. They are. They have trademarked this. So. Um, they purchased the rights to be able to name this the Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor. They pay rights for each vehicle produced to the widow of the person who founded the Gone in 60 Seconds. So nobody else can legally sell one of these cars and call it an Eleanor. Okay, so to clarify, because I may have a certain amount of ignorance, because we've got Gone in 60 Seconds movie. Right. So, is there more history to it behind? No, that? that's where that's where that came from. From the Gone in sixty seconds. Okay, just I, yeah, I want to clarify that yep. in case you guys you guys haven't seen the movie. Oh, which, come on. What's yeah? I mean, I don't know. I it's mean, the, it I was, it, it's basically the precursor to Fast and Furious franchise, I would say. Okay. Yeah. The Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah. And what's the main actor? Was name? it Nicolas Cage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And I'm not uh, I'm not a big movie buff, but. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, I'm looking look. at the hardware, and this is like every talk about the details. It's I mean, just every step of the way, it literally is art, and not just crappy art, but like the materials they use, uh, the finishes. You know, we've got a brushed uh, intake here rather than like a chrome or a high gloss, but it's a satin brush finish. Well, and then we've got chrome, uh, which goes to the radiator here. So they've got a, a, a vast array of different finishes and textures. Well, and a company like this is not somebody that sells just domestically here in the United States. These guys, they transition North America into worldwide markets like Southeast Asia, Middle East. They have a lot of clients from the Middle East. But you can't take a normal car like this, well this isn't normal, but you can't take a car like this with a normal radiator over to Dubai or Saudi Arabia. Why? Because it's 130 degrees when you're driving. So they have the technology and the ability to modify the radiator in such a way that they can go out and run these things at 120 miles an hour in the desert when it's 130 degrees and not burn it up. So the technology and the, and, and the engineering prowess behind the company that builds these is unparalleled. It really, really is. So let's move over here and take a look. Um, these are our good tickets in the grind. At, um, at Ronald McDonald Charities. This is a 1965 Corvette Stingray, and they are with us. They've been one of our longer running advertisers. They're at every Barrett Jackson event that we do. And what I love about Ronald McDonald's, if you look right up there, Jana, show them that. Tickets start at three bucks. So you you get guys out here that will come down and put down 20 bucks. You get guys that get a thousand dollars. But you are uh, you have a chance to win any one of those three cars that you see on there. It's a 427 Roadster, the Z06. Uh, this is actually one of them. Uh, this this no, car, you have a choice. You can win any one of those three cars. Uh, and uh, they have been doing this with us for probably close to 10 years, and they raise a substantial amount of money for the Ronald McDonald House. Because so. this, because what I'm looking at, it looks like it's completely original. I haven't looked at the engine yet. It is, but it looks like a, a like a total frame off yep. restoration. Because the, the the paint and body work, the chrome work. I yep. mean, this is impressive. Well, and these guys are these guys are also sponsored by Pilot Transportation. Pilot donates their transportation because they're they're you know they're so philanthropic with wanting to support the Ronald McDonald House that they're able to uh, transport their, their cars across the country for them. So let's take a look at this uh, last one here. Your, your team has seen the Stark Speedster, or your, your, your viewers have seen the Stark Speedster. This is the Vanderhall, and this is called the, uh, the Venice version. And these, these things are awesome. This is a 1.8 liter, super, super light, and just wicked fast. I mean, this thing is a blast to drive. I believe that you can spec these out differently. Um, I, I'm not sure Actually, if this has I'm a... looking below it, and it looks like it's kind of based on a more of a traditional car engine versus maybe a motor. Because nowadays they've got these three-wheeled, you know, pseudo-motorcycle things. Right. I don't know what they call them. Yeah, it's actually like the have motorcycle. Yes. There's a few different ones out there. This yeah. looks like, from what I can tell, has more of a traditional car engine underneath the hood. All I can tell you is it's really fast, and that's what's sweet. And it's one of those things where you you buy one of these, and there's not going to be a lot of people that have one. I, I so, get to see one. Yeah. So, so it's very unique. Now, uh, I was sharing with Darren a little bit earlier about um, our collaboration with Motor Trend, because a lot of you out there may not know the Dupont Registry brand. Darren interviewed Mr. Dupont earlier and said that I grew up with the brand. It's very iconic. We've been very fortunate. A lot of, as you know, and some of your viewers, if they're younger, know that magazines have pretty much died on the vine. Something like what we have is a niche market product that speaks to a certain demographic. It's typically a, a high-end, very affluent auto enthusiast. And yes. what you'll see in our magazine are other peripheral type things like watches and jets yes. and you know, those sorts of things that, that complement that lifestyle. Well. When, when this, and I've only been with the company for 15 years, and, and I tell people that I've- That's well, a pretty good span of it time. It is a good span of time, in sales, no less. And, and I tell people that I work for the world's greatest car magazine, and that I bleed red and black, because our logo colors for years were red and black. 
And what, what has been amazing over those 15 years is to hear the stories of people like you that grew up with the magazine. And I, I remember getting an email from somebody that said, oh man, when I got my first DuPont, I just saw it and it made me aspire to work hard to get some of the finer things. That's, a valid, that's such a valid point, because I was one of those guys. Right. Where I would, I would go to the drugstore, mm -hmm. let's say Thrifty, yep. which I don't know if that yep. even means yep. anything sure. to you. Yes, it does. It's just like, okay, I'm going to go to the uh, magazine rack, DuPont. I'm going to reach for that, and I'm going to have my own little drool fest. And it was always my own little fantasy more expensive world. than most magazines. Oh, absolutely. So it wasn't like you had that extra money. And so what we found is that, that our, our brand and our magazine, which was the start of this whole thing, um, inspired people to work hard. And you know, we live in a society today where hard work is not glorified, that I don't want to say it's frowned upon, but man, you've got to work for the finer things in life. And we had a, a client that used to, to bring, used to bring his cars in our booth from Canada who told me the story that he was he used to live in his grandparents' house and he would save up his money to go buy a DuPont registry. And when he would get it, he would rip out the cool cars and he used to put, he used to take pictures of Ferraris on the wall yeah. in the basement of his grandparents' house. And when he graduated college, he bought a bankrupt uh, wheelchair company because he thought, what's the worst I could do, right? It's already bankrupt. Right, yeah. And he built this into the second largest manufacturing facility for wheelchairs in Canada, sold it, and now has tons of money. And he started making these really cool James Bond spy cars. But again, it's just one of those things that, that you know, if you work hard, you can achieve in life you know, the type of wealth that it takes right. to buy some of these things. And it starts, there's, and people call all the time and say, well, you know, we've got a 1975 Porsche. I don't think that's for your magazine. Sure it is, because there's a guy out there somewhere, a Darren somewhere that says, man, I, I want to buy that car. Yeah. I can't afford right. the $120,000, but right. I can but buy the 30 or 40,000. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So um, what we've done over the last five years, we've started a, um, a collaborative effort with Motor Trend. Motor Trend came to us and said, hey, we think DuPont Registry can really enhance our series of motor trend shows across the country. So probably this year we'll do 13 motor trend shows, Orange County, Seattle, Nashville, Baltimore, Virginia, Rhode Island, Tampa. There's, there's, they do probably 21, we do about 13. Yeah. And so what we do is we carve out a space and we bring in this type of stuff that you see here. And so yeah. what happens is when the kids, most of the kids come to the show, yeah. they go straight for our booth. And it's great for our advertisers because all of the, the, the morning shows and the people that want to do live shots, right. they want to come to our booth because they get to see stuff they don't normally see. And yeah. so we're introducing our brand to a whole new crop of younger people yeah. that didn't know about DuPont right. Registry. And that takes me into the whole social media. We yes. have 6.6 .6 million fans on our Facebook page. Wow. We are the world's number one automotive magazine on Facebook for for engagement and in fact in That's February impressive. of this year we were number one in the world of all magazines and we have been jockeying back and forth with National Geographic and Food Network magazine which if you can it's pretty crazy but you know everybody you know shares recipes yes, right so yes. we have to contend with that but our yeah. social media director is absolutely steadfast in in, in in what we post, how we post it, and when we post it. I can tell you to a T, we post about 410 different things a month. No more, no less. And that recipe has allowed us to become the top of the food chain. Wow. And this month, we are going to break a record. We reposted a video for one of our clients, Ferrari of New England, at nine o'clock, uh, a week ago this Friday at 9 o'clock in the morning and by 9.28 that evening we had over a million views. Wow. It ended up with over 2 million views and 21,000 shares. So the power of our social media which extends to Instagram, we have almost a million fans on Instagram, Twitter, we have about 20,000. We don't That's a few more than myself. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. I'm pushing 18,000. <laughs> but we're, hey, we're trying to bring you along, brother. But yeah, so the power of our social media, and then we have a full service website. We have a blog site, which is autofluence.com. And then the experiential side of things. Yeah. You know, we are a, a multimedia platform now. 
it's not just the magazine. Yeah. Now when you come to the DuPont registry, we, we're a wheel with multiple spokes. And yeah. so if you've got a company that good needs good metaphor. To be I'm a yeah. metaphor guy. I love so, that metaphor. Yeah, it works. That's good. It works. Are, so. are you doing anything on YouTube specifically as of yet? We haven't really focused. We've got a YouTube channel out there and you know I I'm of the mindset that I think we should scrub it and start from scratch yeah. because we have so much great content to build from, yeah. which I think ultimately that's what we're gonna do. But right now our main focus is on Instagram. And on Facebook, we have clients. We sold, we sold a six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar Lamborghini for a client three weeks ago from an Instagram post. There was a, an exchange student from China who saw the car on our Instagram page, said she wanted more information. We sent it to the to the client. They reached out, and in two weeks, she had wired the money. And this is the best part. A lot of people don't like to wait. She thought really? we were, she thought we were Amazon world. Prime, so she wanted two-day shipping. <laughs> so we had to organize and broker two drivers that did two 24-hour shifts. They, wow, they, yeah. they split two 24-hour yeah. shifts, and we shipped the car from Broward County, which is Miami, to Los Angeles in 48 hours to the tune of $12,000. That's impressive. Wow. But that's the power of our social media. Yeah. So so for you guys, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Okay. So do you know what your following or your uh, likes are on Facebook? Yeah, we're 6.6 .6 million. Okay, you, I think you said that, yeah. which is massive. Yeah. And Instagram, you said... Just uh, We're just shy of a million. We're about 800,000. Yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. But so we for have, me, YouTube is my biggest platform. Right. And I'm just about ready to push 70,000. That's huge. Uh, Facebook, I actually, and this is Facebook here. I don't, meaning I just, I don't have time to do everything because I don't have a whole team. It, and that's the problem. If you don't have a team, we're very fortunate. Yeah. Although we are a small company, we do have a team that's dedicated. Yeah. Um, our social media director graduated from the University of Miami. And I remember him saying years ago to the owner of our company, he said, you know, we need to start a blog site. And our owner was like, blog site? What's that? Yeah, what's that? And he goes, he goes, trust me. He goes, well, just do it. And so he started Autofluence. And Autofluence has now become, it, 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 I, I, going back to metaphors, I use the metaphor of it being like a hub. Like Southwest has a hub in Dallas. Yeah. And they fly into there and everything goes out from there. What we do is we'll take a story on a, on a product or a company like a Vanderhall. And it allows us to really enhance the experience for the reader. It's different than the magazine. In the magazine, you have the constraints of real estate, whether it's one or two pages. On the web, we don't have those same constraints. So we can do a story on our blog site, which is autofluence.com, where we can do 350 to 500 words, multiple pictures, and it gives the reader a more robust understanding of what the spirit is behind the company and what makes them tick. So they can they can <laughs> dig in and go as deep as you they want. Right. Or they can stay on the surface, sure. dabble a little bit, move on. But then what we do is we will take that post and we'll put it up on Facebook. So if we didn't get them through the front door, we'll get them through the side door. So they'll be scrolling through their feed and they'll say, oh, what's this cool little three-wheel yeah. crazy motorcycle yeah. car deal? And they click on it and boom. It's what I call it a, a, a social snowball. So it's almost self-fulfilling, but you know, our, we're very blessed because we have tremendous content provided to us by our dealers, but we've built that platform, and I can tell you there have been nights where we literally felt like we had to put baby oil in our owner's chair, to get him out of the chair, because he's just so uh, bent on trying to figure it all out. But we had that video last week that, that shot to a million in 12 hours. He, was, he wanted to find out what, what is causing this, how do we harness it? And just when you think you got it figured out, Zuckerberg throws you a curveball yes. and changes something yes. up. Yeah. So, but it keeps us coming back. It it's keeps true. us coming back. Valid so. point. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Bucky, any anything else you want to add? I, I no. Mean, look, if you get a you're chance, you're great on camera. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm, uh, you're I'm so blessed. You're so articulate. I appreciate that. Well, uh, taking the time. Uh, my audience says thank you. They're not here to say. That's hi, okay. We appreciate. It. You want to thank me? Go to DuPontRegistry.com. Click on the news tab. That will take you to Autofluence. If you don't like us on Facebook already, I would encourage you to do that. And make sure you follow us on Instagram because we've got tremendous content. Darren, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, again. thanks Very again. Much. All right. Okay. Till so next time.